Good afternoon. Today we are presenting a PO Class A headphone amplifier kit named Frigate. Frigate uses two tubes per channel. The tubes are 6922 and 6H30PI. Both tubes are manufactured by Electroharmonics. The tubes in the left and right channel are matched with an aid of Amplitrax tube tester and the computer. In designing and building this headphone amplifier, we used best audiophile grade parts. Specifically, we used ALPS volume control, also known as a blue velvet. We used Vima polypropylene large capacitance capacitors for interstage connections in the amplifier. We used Vichy Dell military grade metal film resistors throughout the amplifier. And we used large high quality electrolytic capacitors manufactured by Nichikon. This headphone amplifier has a built-in very low noise power supply. The power supply has three buses, B plus bus and two filament buses responsible for delivering filament voltage to the left and right channel of the headphone amplifier. In this installation we are using two toroidal transformers. The transformer which is the closest to us is B plus transformer. The transformer, which is the farthest to us, is a filament transformer delivering low AC voltage to the left and right channels of the power supply, which then is converted to DC voltage and supplied to the filaments of the left and right channel. The power supply built in the headphone amplifier has the following features. These 12 red small Vima capacitors are responsible for suppressing high frequency switching noise generated by the rectifiers in each bus of the power supply. The rectified DC voltage then is smoothened by two large gamut capacitors in each bus of the power supply and further is smoothened by four large capacitance electrolytic capacitors manufactured by Nichikon and we are using four large capacitors in each bus of the power supply. The B plus bus of the power supply has built-in delay of 15 seconds during which B plus voltage is increasing slowly to its maximum value of 280 volt. In each bus of the power supply, we are using stabilizing devices. These three heat sinks are accommodating three regulators, which this power supply has. In the filament buses of the power supply, we are using low drop voltage regulators, Lima Delta 1084V. And in the B plus bus of the power supply, we are using MOSFET transistor IRF840. These regulators are regulating DC voltage and also are responsible for suppressing AC component which might be present in the DC voltage. The low drop voltage regulators LD1084 suppressing AC component down to 0.6 volt AC and the MOSFET transistor in the B plus bus of the power supply is suppressing AC component down to 20 or better millivolt AC. This power supply is extremely quiet and we measured it noise as minus 50 dB against the signal produced by the amplifier as a whole. In other words, you won't hear any hum or AC noise produced by this power supply and uh, this power supply is largely responsible for the high quality signal produced by the headphone amplifier as a whole. In this installation we are using Sennheiser 650 
with impedance of 600 ohm. We also ran tests with low impedance headphones as low as 30 ohm of impedance. And in all cases, ranging from 30 ohm impedance to 600 ohm impedance, this headphone amplifier was able to deliver a lot of power. In other words, this headphone amplifier is designed and built to run wide range of headphones. Now, let's run a short test and see how this headphone amplifier performs with Sennheiser 650. We will switch on some pop music and see the result of amplification produced by this headphone amplifier. This is the maximum volume produced by this headphone amplifier with Sennheiser 650. Now this is minimum volume, volume is zero. And volume is maximum again. Additional information about this headphone amplifier is available on our website, radiocraft.ca. You will find the schematic, user manual, and tutorial assisting you in assembling this headphone amplifier frigate. Thank you for watching and all the best.